Greetings, Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries, John 8, 12. Turn your King James Bible to Ezekiel chapter 15. This is going to be a short one. Verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is the vine tree more than any tree, or than a branch which is among the trees of the forest. Shall wood be taken thereof to do any work? Or will men take a pin of it to hang any vessel thereon? Behold, it is cast into the fire for fuel. The fire devoureth both the ends of it and the midst of it is burned. Is it meat for any work? And uh, the answer to that is when you burn a piece of wood up, uh, it's no good for nothing, is it? Verse 5, Behold, when it was whole, it was meat for no work. You know, before it was burnt, it wasn't any good for anything. So how much less shall it be meat yet for any work when the when the fire hath devoured it, and it is burned. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, As the vine tree among the trees of the forest, which I have given to the fire for fuel, so will I give the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and I will set my face against them, they shall go out from one fire, and another fire shall devour them. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, when I set my face against them. And I will make the land desolate, because they have committed a trespass, saith the Lord God. Now, in Scripture, the fig tree was a symbol of Judah. And the vine, the grapevine, was a symbol of Israel as a whole. Now, sometimes when uh, you're talking about trees, they're talking about family trees, mankind. What, Chaplain Bob? That sounds awful weird. Well, we're going to cover that more in detail when we get to the end of the series, God willing, of course. But let's go to Ezekiel chapter 31. We're just going to read a couple of, a couple of verses. Ezekiel 31, 1. And it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the third month, in the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, verse 2, Son of man, speak unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and to his multitude, who, whom art thou like in thy greatness? Verse 3, listen carefully. Behold, the Assyrian was a cedar in Lebanon. What's a cedar? It's a tree. Very expensive wood, by the way. It doesn't rot. And termites don't like it. And uh, ladies know that you take cedar chips and throw them in a closet and it'll keep the bugs away from, you know, like the moths from eating your wool clothing. So, verse 3, Behold, the Assyrian was a cedar in Lebanon with fair branches and with a shadowing shroud and of an high stature and his top was among the thick boughs. See, it's sometimes trees are And it's, you know, a figure of speech. So, let's skip to verse 9. I have made him, the Assyrian, I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches, so that all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of God envied him. Now, since when do trees have emotions like envy? 
It's a figure of speech. You know, just like when a guy sees an attractive woman, he says, wow, look at that fox. Boy, is she built. Yeah, figure of speech. You know, Christ is called the Lamb of God. Satan is called like a roaring lion. Jesus is called the Lion of the tribe of Judah. No, Jesus doesn't have four paws and a tail and a mane and roars like a lion. Anyway, so a lot of figures of speech in the Bible, a lot of them. So, all right, well, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen. This is the end of Ezekiel chapter 15.